Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about how to evaluate polynomials using the ETI-84 graphing calculator. Um, there's more than one way to do this and each way has its pros and cons, but really each way will work as long as you know how to use the calculator and how to get the values that you need. So you can see on the Word document that I've got there, that's your notes handout, I've already completed it by typing in some stuff. The two methods that we can use are the table and the value feature. Okay, So that's what I want to do in this video is just simply show you how to use those. So the first thing that I notice is a lot of kids will want to type in an equation like this. Let's say we're asked to evaluate the polynomial f of x is equal to 2x to the fourth minus 3x cubed plus 2x squared plus 5x minus 4. Okay? We can do that by hand if we want to, but I've given you a couple values here where it would be really nice if there was a quick way to do it on the calculator, and that's why I'm showing you this here. Um, I, the first thing I want you to, to know is that if I just go start typing in 2x to the fourth here, okay, that 2x to the fourth here has a meaning. I don't know what 2x to the fourth is. For whatever reason, that means 32. Because, and according to my calculator, x has a value already assigned to it. Apparently, it's 2 or something. Okay. Um, I don't know where I got that value. I don't know. I, I don't want to use that value necessarily. I want to find out whenever I put in a 2.5 for x, what I get. Right. And so, um, what we need to do first, the first step is to go through and not do it on the main menu, but to go through and hit y equals and go into our grapher. And we want to type the equation in here instead. Okay, so the first necessary step, regardless of whether you're using the table or value feature, is to go to y equals. And we're going to type in the entire equation here. So 2x to the fourth, remember caret top stands for a power. Mine goes ahead and puts it up here. Some of your calculators may have an older operating system where it just leaves the caret top. You'll see this little symbol right there. But it's okay. 2x to the fourth minus 3x cubed. 3x the third plus 2x squared plus 5x minus 4. Okay, so now I have this in here. Okay, if I went through and I graphed it, so I'll go back to the standard zoom window. I don't know how zoomed in or out I am. It's an x to the fourth, so it's going to look a little bit like a parabola, just kind of like a funky parabola, right? Um, and so here are the two methods, okay? The table method, I'm going to do, if, if I want to use the table method, I'm just going to hit second. I'm going to hit table up here. See, it's in blue. That's why I have to hit second to get to it. It's right above the graph button. And the great thing is this, that if I come over here, look at this. If I put in, it says, if I put in a 1 for x, I'm going to get 2 for y. So that would be f of 1, right? If this said f at 1, what is the function when I put a 1 in for x? I would get a 2. If I put a 0 in, I would get negative 4. If I put 2 in for x, I would get 22 for y, so on and so forth. The problem that you might notice, though, is that I'm asking for f at 2.5. Okay. So why would we use the table then? Well, it would be great if we needed to fill out a bunch of values, right? What if I needed to know like five different x coordinates? Well, it would be pretty slick. I'd have them all right in front of my face right now. Or if I'm just trying to get an idea, like when I graph this, I want to know how high I need to go up to zoom in or zoom out. This would be a, give me a good idea to say, well, hey, listen, if I'm going from 0 to 6 here, I better go as high as 2,000 for my y coordinates, right? Um, what we would need to do if we really wanted to use the table feature in this, uh, in this problem is we'd have to go to the table setup and see right here how it says table setup, and it's in blue. So I'm going to hit second to get to it, okay? I can start at 0. That's my first value that I want to appear. And then delta, that's this little triangle thing here. It's the Greek letter delta. That means what are my increments for my table? Right now I have it set up to be 1. Well, if I wanted to do 2.5, it would be very simple to change my increments to 0.5. I want to go up and down by halves. Now, when I go into my table by hitting second and then graph, notice it goes 0, 1.5, or 0.5, 1, 1.5, so on and so forth. So well, I can go here then and I can say negative 2.5 for my x coordinate will give me 121. Therefore, the answer to this, f at 2.5, would be 121. Okay? If I put a 2.5 in for x, I would get a y coordinate of 121. So that's pretty slick. It seemed like a lot of work, right? If I want to do negative 7 fourths, when I divide by fourths, I end up with 0.25. So I might even, for this one, I would might want to change my table setup to go by. 0.25 and then redo the table. 7 fourths would be negative 1.75. 
And if I put a negative 1.75 in, I get 28.211 as my answer. So this here would be 28.211. Now, that's great. You can see here that the table feature might be okay, but maybe there's a better way. Okay, so let's talk about the value feature real quick. Once again, I've already typed this into y equals, and I'm going to go graph it. And I get this weird shape here, right? The easier way to find it, if you're only doing one value, is to go to second, calculate menu, and use the top feature, which is value. If I click enter here, it's going to ask me which x coordinate am I interested in. So if all I have to do now is type in 2.5, and once again, notice we get, oh, we get a different value here. Did I do something different? Oh, I did negative 2.5 earlier. You know what? I'm an idiot. This should be then. 52.25 should be my answer here. I did negative 2.5 when I did the table. Please excuse the error there, right? Actually, I'm going to know if you watch the video all the way through now because you'll have the right value the second time, won't you? Okay, so replace that answer. Um, negative 7 fourths is even easier because now all I have to do is go to second, calculate. I want to calculate a value. And when x is negative 7 divided by 4, 28.2109, which rounds to 28.211. So the value feature I really think is pretty cool. The only thing you have to be careful about is what if I ask you to find f of an 11? If I ask you for the x-coordinate of 11, what's the y-coordinate? Whoops, sorry. Second, calc. I have your value. And I type in 11. You're going to notice that I only go out to positive 10. So 11 is off the screen left or right. Okay, right? It's, it's to the right. It's off the screen. And when I hit enter here, it's going to say invalid. Okay? So you need to make sure that you're zoomed out enough that the x coordinate actually shows, which is what this little bullet point right here is about. Okay? The x coordinate has to be, you have to be zoomed out enough on your graph that you actually have the x coordinate on your window. That way it'll calculate it. But pretty slick. Um, that's just an easy way that I would expect you to use to be able to evaluate some polynomials because there's a lot of stuff going on here. And we got better things to do than to go plug in a 1 and figure out exactly what we're going to get for y coordinate. You know? So there you go. If you have any questions, please come ask me. But we'll be practicing this during class tomorrow.